to this video, A Cat's Life by Gemma Corral. We're going to do some serious gushing over this book because not only is it really cool, but it's funny too, and I love it because it's small and it's also hardcover. I've done some of Gemma Corral's stuff before in other videos. I really like this artist. She's funny. She makes me laugh. She appeals to me. Uh, I like this book because it has a dust jacket on as well. And also, yeah, it's just full of really funny, simple things that if you are a cat lover or a cat owner, it will tickle you. And that's a fact. Also, the text in this book, there's not much of it, but it's in three languages. It's in English, German and French. I believe the company that published this, Tenue, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I think they're a French company by the sound of it. Uh, it's printed in China. But anyway, on to the book. Look at that. This is funny if you've ever watched a cat trying to get inside a very small box and they seem to be strangely drawn to boxes and bags. They'll try and get in and then they'll sort of sit there and pretend, it, pretend like they're really comfortable. I like this. So it's spot on cat observation comedy this by Gemma. I mean quite a few of the jokes in this book are about how lazy cats are and they are lazy let's face it. Very lazy. They do a lot of sleeping don't they? Not a lot of anything else really. Eating, sleeping, uh, eating, sleeping mainly, yes. There's a few little cartoons here about kind of the ultimate cat drug, catnip as well. They always go down well, I think those jokes. This one is totally my cat. He can look very adorable. He can be very loving when he wants. This one is totally my cat. He can be the most loving creature when he's hungry. This is where the magic happens. They're so cute, these cats. They're quite sort of bland in their expressions, which is what makes, I think, a lot of the, the cartoons actually funny. This is totally me. I end up buying my cat the most kind of like exotic sounding food sometimes because he's fussy and he sometimes turns his nose up at the cheap stuff. But the way they yeah, described as compote of braised tuna, hilarious. There's a few here sort of clumped into a sort of romance theme or online dating. Um, yeah, it seems to be grouped by theme like that. I love this one. So going to a party and then finding yourself in a room with a cat because you feel more kind of comfortable with that than actually people. Yeah, I can relate to that. There's a funny one with a cat bringing a hairball. This happened to me recently. They are massive, aren't they? Oh, where does she get her ideas from? They're so simple, but they're so good. Some of these are brilliant. True life kitty confessions. I have five different homes. I reckon mine's got a few. I ate the budgie, that's a good one. The dog and I are in cahoots, that's unnerving. And perhaps the most galling of all, I prefer Mrs. Smith's armchair. I'll see. Oh, and come on, who hasn't had a cat type an email for you? It's always amusing when that happens. Of course, this book wouldn't have been complete without a bit of uh, literary humour. Well, this one makes me laugh because I have a red chair. It looks just like that. It's even got legs like that. And the cat always jumps up and starts sitting there as soon as you kind of leave the room. You come back in and he's there, putting his cat ears on it. Anyway, check out the rest of the cartoons in this book. They're all amazing. She is amazing. This book is amazing. I think everyone should buy this if they like cats.
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this amusing, this book, as I did. Um, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.